if you have fallen prey to some type of identity deception. And I've touched on, I've gone really quickly over a lot of the different deceptive practices that these crooks are using. But if you do find that some manner of your identifiers have been stolen, which identity fraud has, has gotten to the point where a lot of the state statutes incorporate things not just like your name, date of birth, and social security number. It may be something as, as exotic as biometric data, which might be a retinal scan, might be a palm scan, but there's a lot of different uh, tools anymore that are using biometric data to identify you. And these could be some of the, uh, the things that have been compromised. But if you do find that you've been compromised, the first thing you want to do is close the account that has been affected. Notify that company, close that account, such that no more monies can be, can be stolen in your name. Number two, file a police report. When you file a police report, what you want to do is make lots of copies at Kinko's or someplace like that. If you go to a police department, one of the ways of generating revenue for our municipalities is that a lot of the police departments charge money for copies after you get your original victim's copy. Uh, you can make them at Kinko's for a nickel. Uh, why pay six dollars? Um, Next thing you want to do is recontact all of these different places and send them a copy of the police report. And the reason for this is that it shows that you have taken steps, that you are serious about clearing this up, and that, that it's not you, that, that whatever is, has gone on, that your identity has been compromised, you're, you're willing to go the distance to get it fixed. What you want to do is create a notebook, a nice spiral notebook. And the reason for this is because as you send these out, chances are they're not going to correct it this month. You may have to contact them again next month when the billing cycle comes out again. And the reason for this is that there are a lot of people out there that will say, hey, uh, my identity was compromised. Uh, can you take this off my bill? when in effect they actually did do it. Uh, so they'll make you jump through some hoops <coughs> to get the thing closed and to get this taken off your, your bill. The reason why you want to have the notebook is you want to take meticulous notes of the date and the time and the phone numbers that you contacted before such that when it pops up and you're billed again for it next month and you contact them, you say, I spoke to Shirley on June the 23rd at this number, um, why isn't this taken off my bill? And what that does is it, it reemphasizes to them that you're going to stick with this. Uh, and then ask them if you can, if there's anything else that you need to do. But keep that in your notes because uh, on the flyers I handed out, you'll find that there are three credit agencies, three. Uh, known reported credit agencies, TransUnion, Experian, and Equifax. Um, as you do this, it's going to take a lot of time. Uh, I think that TransUnion uh, came up with the idea that it's going to take 1,500 man hours. Uh, I would say it's going to take you up to a year. Um, and it, it happens to everybody. It's uh, one of the big cases we just worked was he was a CEO of a Fortune 500 company. And uh, these gentlemen had uh, defrauded him by going in as posing as janitors at an attorney's office, stealing all of these CEO's uh, uh, identifiers and then using them to, to uh, buy cars and things like that. So it, this sort of activities can happen to most anybody. Uh, I spoke with a nursing student a couple of years ago uh, who, uh, he goes, oh, I don't care who's using my identifiers. I don't have any money. I don't have any good credit. And I said, uh, well, they've bought three motorcycles in your name and uh, a whole living room suit and uh, every appliance for a, uh, a, um, a kitchen. He goes, all with my credit? I go, yeah. 
you did have really bad credit, now you got horrendous credit. Uh, just because you have bad credit doesn't mean somebody can't abuse it further. Uh, you know, you have good credit to get good rates. You have bad credit, you can still get bad rates and still abuse it even further. So people can still steal. And that's the reason why no matter how badly you feel about your credit, you want to make these reports quickly and get on the ball because a crook can just make it worse and he can do it quickly. 